Hi Virgo, Power by Tarot coming at you with your love reading and this is for the second half of July. I hope you guys are all doing well. Don't forget your Moon Rising and Venus videos. You can check your chart at CafeAstrology.com if you want to cross watch and get a more complete picture of your situation. And uh, the bottom of the deck Virgo is the Nine of Pentacles and also the Page of Cups. So the Nine of Pentacles showing up in the overall energy here uh, about this union here somebody is either totally taking care of themselves and not concentrating on the other person or they really want to be single here in a union okay <laughs> from the angel tarot deck Virgo we have the eight of pentacles the death card and the ace of cups here so somebody's working hard on something somebody is putting in the work or the dedication here okay um, but it's, you know, it's coming with the Death card and the Ace of Cups. There could be transformative energy here, but I'm seeing this as an ending here because of the Nine of Pentacles already twice. Um, I feel like, you know, there could be a new beginning for somebody, but there could be an ending all as well for somebody else, right? Yeah. Okay, Page of Cups showing up here, Virgo. Page of Cups is, it's usually uh, like either an apology or somebody is offering their cup. It's a, it's a small offer, right? Let's clarify that Page of Pentacles as the overall energy for Virgo. Why is that Nine of Pentacles there for Virgo? And if I didn't mention you guys, this is your their true intentions in love with you, all right? So this is what we are trying to uh, achieve here or trying to learn here uh, uh, and get to the bottom here about your person here. Five of Pentacles is here. Yeah, wow. Showing up with the Nine of Pentacles, you guys. Uh, right now, I feel like somebody is either thinking of leaving the other person out here and becoming solo, or they have done it, either one. Now, the your current energy, Virgo, is the Sun card. Okay, let's see. Showing up next to the Moon. Interesting combo. Why is the Sun there for Virgo? The Justice card is here. Wow. Wow, let's get another card. There's a Justice card there for Virgo. You guys could be dealing with a Leo or a, uh, a Libra in here, but wow. Three major arcana here, Virgo. I feel like you're ending a cycle here. You could be happy right now here. You could be happy. It's possible here. Um, yeah, maybe this is you over here becoming single, you know, here. Maybe you're happy here. Somebody could have left you out here too, right? But here, you know, I feel like you could have, maybe you got a court settlement here. You could have been in the court case. Um, wow. You could be getting something that you feel that you deserved. Yeah, that you deserved, and you could be feeling happy about it here. But you're definitely feeling like a cycle is ending and a new one is beginning. Let's get a card on the world card. Page of Wands just popping out here, you guys. Page of Wands is, you know, is a new start here. It's a new path. He page, he starts out, right? Is the number one kind of, kind of like the fool. He's starting out with his wand and it is almost like a... Uh, it is about movement here, you guys. It's about the beginning of a journey, usually the Page of Wands here. Okay, wow. You could have been, you could be, you could be learning about something. Yeah, you could have some kind of illumination here that, for some of you guys, maybe you want a divorce here with justice here and the Nine of Pentacles showing up, you know, twice here. And you want to end the cycle here and start your own here, your own path here. The moon card is what you desire, though. Let's see. Why does Virgo desire the moon, please? Wow. So you have the four of pentacles in the reverse. Um, as, you know, this, you could be wanting to drop a Pisces or Cancer. Yeah, you could be wanting to let them go. Wow. Hmm. Let's get one more card here. Maybe they want to let you go, but this is in your desired position. Clarify that. I feel like this is you wanting to let them go, and this is why you have the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the uh, Four of Pentacles in the reverse here. 
I thought, yeah, you could be happy you're getting a divorce over here. Wow. Uh, six of Pentacles in the reverse here. You could be feeling, you could be wanting to drop a cancer here. You could also be wanting to let go of a secret, maybe. Wow. Uh, and end a third party with these six of pentacles in the reverse. Let's get one more card. Let's keep going here. We might revisit this, okay? I feel like you're letting somebody go here, Virgo, with the nine of pentacles twice. This is a super telling card, right? Next to the five of pentacles, definitely here. Okay, this is the overall energy. You want to let somebody go here and be single here. Uh, yeah, I feel like you are dropping, yeah, I feel like you're dropping a, you could be dropping a secret here, or you could be letting go of a water sign here, the world is here, you this endings here, right, five of pentacles, death card, clarify the, let's see here, how you're seeing your person is the ten of pentacles, why do you see them as the ten of pentacles, the two of pentacles, wow, I feel like they're making a decision. You're seeing them as making a decision as well. But you could be you could be seeing them as maybe you were juggling them or they were juggling you. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Wow. So you could be, you know, trying to make a decision about them. But I feel like what this is is that there was trickery here. Yeah, and somebody was juggling with the Knight of Cups in the reverse here. There could be fear here about somebody making a decision, maybe about a union. The Ten of Pentacles is a union, right? It's a solid union, or at least at one time it was, where there is financial stability here. I feel like you're seeing your person, you could be seeing them maybe, maybe you were juggling them. Wow, let's keep going here. Maybe they were juggling you, Virgo, but um, yeah, let's keep going. The Emperor here... <laughs> You could be juggling them right now here. There could be fear here about offering your cup here, maybe. But I'm looking, I'm looking at the Knight of Cups more as um, could be deceptive here. Seven of Swords, uh, right underneath the nine, the Knight of Cups. You guys, I'm looking at deception. I'm thinking it's more that. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I feel like you were juggling your person, Virgo. Emperor is their current energy. Let's see why. Why do they have the Emperor, please? Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Your person has already made a decision here. They're not waiting anymore. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, and they're they're being the, the Emperor. It's, you know, this is this is clear. They're making a decision here. Your person. Or they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to put things in order after they have made a decision. They're not waiting anymore. So now they are taking action here and putting things in order. Okay? It can be about you, but your, your person could be this Queen of Pentacles here who is nurturing and abundant, right? And financially stable. You could be with somebody like that. Right? The Ten of Pentacles is over here, and it can talk about, you know, financial stability here. The Nine of Pentacles is here, too, so I feel like there is a level of financial uh, abundance here. The Two of Pentacles is what they desire. Why do they desire that? Wow. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, guys, and the Two of Wands. I feel like your person is at a stalemate here. Uh, yeah, they want to make a decision here, but they're stuck here, okay? Um, they could be confused here, definitely, and they're juggling a decision here. Yeah, they want to make a decision here. This could be about you possibly juggling, though, the same stalemate that your person is feeling, okay? Your person could be trying to block you, and what I mean by that is, you know... I don't just mean like over a text. It could be maybe trying to block you entirely. Like, you know, I want to let him go and kind of, or, or, or she. Clarify the Two of Swords. Why does Virgo's person desire the Two of Swords? Two of, see, they're, they're making a decision. Two of Wands, definitely. They're at a crossroads here. They're stuck. They're at a stalemate here. Uh, 
Yeah, they're confused. Wow. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and Two of Wands. All about decisions here. Okay? Yeah, and they're confused here. Okay, definitely. Wow. This is their, their energy here. They, they could also be uh, carving out a new path here because you were possibly juggling somebody here, Virgo. Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is how they are seeing you, Virgo. They're seeing you as, you know, going through anxiety here. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Why do they see Virgo that way? Queen of Swords in the reverse. Wow. <laughs> so your person uh, could be seeing you as, you know, super anxiety, having a lot of anxiety. Uh, it's possible because they are the Queen of Swords now in the reverse here, which is really, you know... Uh, unpleasant. <laughs> See, that's, that's a bad term for it. It's really bitchy energy, okay? It's somebody who is mad, somebody who is scorned, somebody can be jealous here. Somebody can be, uh, it's, this can be vindictive as well, the Queen of Swords, right? Let's get one more card. This is how they're seeing you. They could be seeing you as vindictive, jealous, mean maybe, and going through anxiety. I feel like it's them who is this, possibly, and you are feeling the anxiety. Yeah, clarify the Queen of Swords in the reverse here. Wow. The Fool in the reverse here. Okay, this Fool was in the upright. Okay. Wow. So I feel like your person is seeing you as, um, yeah, as super stressed out here. They could be seeing you as wanting to take a leap of faith here by yourself. The Fool card, right? And that's exactly what I feel like you are trying to do here. Um, you're letting something go here. Uh, yeah, wow. You could also be Virgo, just going back up here. Um... Your per you could be also, let me go back over here. This is in your in how you're seeing your person. You could be juggling a decision about them, maybe. Uh, maybe to end something. The Ten of Pentacles can also be a completion. It can be an ending, right? It doesn't always have to be. But um, is the Ten of Swords here as well? No, not yet. <laughs> but I feel like right here, your person could be Virgo. You could be, you know maybe thinking about offering them their cup, but you could be afraid as well here, but I'm feeling this is deceptive. Okay, let's keep going, you guys. Um, your person's definitely seeing you as uh, feeling anxiety here, okay? They could also be feeling anxiety because, you know, you are taking a leap of faith here by yourself. Yeah, I feel like that is what's going on. The fool is the, a uh, fool is here again, you guys, and this is the past dynamic. Yeah, why is he full there? Why is he full showing up there, please? I feel like your person is already, they're not waiting anymore. They're not waiting to make a decision, but they are still confused about what to decide, about con their conclusion, right? Why is that fool there? Why is the fool there, please, in the past dynamic? Okay, so the past dynamic, somebody's taking a leap of faith. I feel like somebody, yeah, somebody is uh, having the courage here to go out on their own. And they're trying to find their Ace of Pentacles here, their new beginning here, which is uh, full of stability here. Uh, yeah, definitely a new beginning with somebody and becoming single at the same time. The Nine of Pentacles, three times now, right? Bottom of the deck, uh, yeah, over here with this deck here, and um, now it is showing up a third time here. This is in the past dynamic here. Wow. Current dynamic is the Seven of Swords. You could be in a breakup. This could ar already be a breakup, right? And you could be thinking about second chances, maybe. Why is the Seven of Swords in the current dynamic with Virgo in their person, please? Yeah. So the current dynamic is that I feel like in the past somebody was trying to be this fool, right? Trying to uh, leave a situation or make their, you know, have their own life here and be this nine of pentacles, which is so ever so present in this reading, uh, which is all about being single typically. It can't just be about taking care of yourself and, you know, 
uh, super well here and kind of nurturing yourself and you know working on your own abundance but this is about leaving this is about next to the five of pentacles over here you guys this is about somebody becoming single and leaving a union here uh, the current dynamic here you guys is somebody's making a decision to leave here okay they are six of swords leaving the problems here right um, for some of you guys there could be you know Aquarian energy here or uh, Libra or Gemini, but I feel like somebody is carving out their strategy here. Definitely. They are. Uh, yeah And we're gonna find out over on Vimeo a Virgo because remember some of this uh, Energy can be uh, flipped right, but we're gonna find out about your person and get down right to it We're gonna find out the block here the challenge here um, what they're hiding, what they're fearing, how they really feel about you, and their true intentions on Vimeo, you guys. You can see all the extensions for just $8.99. If you guys want a private reading, you can get one. Uh, I have a special right now, the same, uh, you know, love, love reading, which is includes the extended, uh, for $25, and it is in the About section. Thank you so much.